So we've been studying deer in Dorchester County, Maryland for several years now. It's not just any species of deer, they're unique because they're non-native. They originally came from a small island in southern Japan. We don't know lots about them, so it was part of a larger study to look at the ecology of the species. One of the questions we wanted to know is their origin. We knew they were smaller than the normal sika deer. Sika deer live in the mainland of Asia too, so the Chinese subspecies are much larger. Another researcher had suggested they were from Yukushima Island. So we got some DNA from a cooperating researcher in Japan and then some researchers in England and were able to link everything together to see how they moved across the world essentially until they came to us in the early 1900s. If we look at Sika deer where they're found in Dorchester County, there's areas of the county where there's almost no whitetails, which is our native species of deer. So the question naturally is, are they out competing whitetails? Are they excluding whitetails so they can't inhabit certain areas? Sika deer took hold at a time when whitetail numbers were very low. So they're actually colonizing an area where there were no deer at the time. So now the question is, as they expand, will they exclude whitetails or push them out of the area? Sika deer are grazers, so they can eat a wider range of food than we think whitetails can. Sika deer have adapted quite well, although they live in a completely different habitat here than they do in the island. So in Yukushima, they're up on the mountain. Here they're in the marshes. So they actually can exploit saltwater marsh. They can eat spartina, which is saltwater hay, white-tailed deer can't really digest that. So they're able to digest some things that white-tails can't. They seem to do really well in these wetland areas, but they do well in uplands too because farmers have crop damage issues with Sika just like white-tail. So that's what we were looking at comparing diets and looking at dietary overlap.